Car Market Outlook – What to Expect in 2023 Thanks to the COVID-19 pandemic, the past three years have seen more disruption to the car market than any time since the production shutdowns of World War II. In contrast, 2023 may be a year of relative stability. It won't, however, look like the past. What will be more normal? Supply chain woes will ease a bit, and rising vehicle supply will mean less pressure on the prices of older used cars. New vehicle markups and used vehicle wholesale prices have both eased since their peaks this past spring. Falling prices are only just reaching the retail level, but inflation-stretched used car shoppers may find some relief in 2023. On the other hand, rising interest rates mean auto loans and leases are costlier. Which may soon mean that buying a new car, where interest rates are lower, would be more cost-effective than a 2-3 to three year old one. That, and the possibility of a recession in the first half of the upcoming year, is driving down demand, hence slackening prices. But even if used car prices continue to ease, albeit slowly, and new car sales climb, 2023 won't be a year of bargains. The whole car market is being reshaped, as are how cars are ordered and sold. Here are four stories we see on the horizon in 2023. 2024 Kia AV9 Many new electric vehicles are due in 2023 and one of the most important will be the Kia F9. It'll be the first moderately affordable three-row electric SUV on the market. Joel Lerner slash Xinhua via Getty Images. Despite challenges, F adoption will continue to grow. In 2019, Americans purchased just under 326,000 electric vehicles. In the first 11 months of 2022, they bought 724,000, according to data from Motor Intelligence. Even then, organic demand is such that those numbers would be higher if not for supply chain issues. Long wait lists aren't going anywhere for new EVs like the Ford F-150 Lightning or popular electric SUVs like the Tesla Model Y and newcomer Rivian R1S. A growing list of new models from established brands, and even new brands like Vinfast and Fisker, can make an F purchase more mainstream and manageable. But high prices and policy changes limiting subsidies for EVs could temper excitement. Lingering supply chain troubles and material sourcing are keeping new vehicle costs high, especially for EVs. Only the Chevy Bolt EV and you've made drastic price cuts this year, outliers in a sea of spiking MSRPS as the price of metals like lithium, cobalt and nickel have spiked. According to a report from Bloomberg New Energy Finance, NAF, lithium-ion battery pack costs rose to $1.151-KWH in 2022, up 7% year-over-year. Then there are the chips. Automotive industry principal Peter Maithel at cloud computing firm Infra told Forbes wheels the ongoing chip shortage could affect up to 3 million vehicles next year. A disproportionate number of them EVs. Electrics can use 30% more chips than gas-powered vehicles, Maithel added. Chevrolet Bolt U Production Of all the electric, and non-electric, vehicles on the market in 2023, only the Chevrolet Bolt and Bolt U had drastic price cuts. Now $6,000 cheaper, both are some of the first genuinely affordable EVs that don't depend on tax credits. 
President Joe Biden's Inflation Reduction Act also changed the calculus for potential discounts on all clean cars, not just battery-powered options, starting in January. The former blanket federal subsidy of $7,500 is now based on various factors, buyer income, car or SUV purchase price and North American-based. Manufacturing and sourcing, not just sales numbers, which Tesla and General Motors both capped in 2018. As soon as the calendar flips to 2023, as many as 70% of the electric and plug-in hybrid vehicles formerly eligible for the existing tax credit will lose that. Incentive because of strict rules concerning battery sourcing and vehicle price caps. Still, hot new models and the allure of low energy costs amidst record gas prices could spur more first-time F buyers, or at least more fuel-efficient. Hybrids and plug-in vehicles, especially if 2023 sees another summer of pain at the pump. As gas prices spiked last July, an American Automobile Association AAA, poll revealed that 25% of Americans would likely choose an electric vehicle for their next car purchase. Speaking of refueling, drivers can also expect improvements in public charging stations. At the moment, Tesla's opening supercharger network is the best and most reliable charging network. But many more fast charging plugs are coming online from Electrify America, Ibgo, ChargePoint and others. With improved infrastructure, the apprehension to recharge away from home should lessen even within the next 12 months. Used Volkswagen Jettas the good news? Used car prices will finally start to come down in 2023. The bad news? 2019 and newer models are likely to stay expensive. Steve Faust slash Newsday RM via Getty Images. Used car prices will fall in 2023, but older cars will see the biggest declines. After reaching absurd highs in early 2022, used vehicle prices have already fallen. They'll continue to ease in 2023, just not by as much as consumers would hope. Also, cars over 4 years old will ease more than those that are 1 to 3 years old. In November 2022, used vehicle prices fell for the fifth straight month and declined year over year for the first time since the start of the pandemic. According to Tom Contos, Chief Economist for Wholesaler at ESSA. Indeed, according to Edessa's data, the average price of all vehicles wholesaled at Edessa was $15,254 in October, down 12.3% from its peak in May. The bad news? That's still up 37% from November 2019. The aforementioned chip shortage is keeping all new car prices high, and in the past two years, high new car prices have sent buyers flocking to used models. In 2023, analysts expect new and used vehicle prices to diverge. In a November report, JP Morgan researchers opined that new car prices were likely to fall no more than 5% in 2023 while used vehicle prices could contract by 10% to 